Once the search has been completed, results will then be displayed that you can then filter and sort to find the right deals that match your seller profile, including profits, return on investment, price ranges and more. On the filter panel of the results page here, you're able to manually adjust the results of any completed searches as you look through them. Now these filters only affect the results of completed searches. To set filters for all searches prior to searches running, just go to global filter settings. Now this is where you can search specifically for a product's ASIN or barcode, or use a name or a term to find any results that match. This is where you can adjust the ROI or return on investment, so that the search results only show you the products that suit your set range. Likewise, here you're able to set the profit range in dollar or pound terms and only see the results that match your preferences. This is the option uh, where you can view your results filtered by sales rank as either a percentage with an accompanying slider to adjust the specific percentages to your preference or as a number expressed between 1 and 1.5 and million, again with a slider to set your preferences. When now viewing your results, any products that fall outside of those preferences are suppressed. Then you have a match accuracy slider here which will determine the level of accuracy in your results between the supplier product and the Amazon product. This is set at a default of high, meaning that the number of mismatches shown will be minimal. You're able to move this slider to show more products but with a decreasing level of accuracy, meaning you'll have a lot more products to look through, but a higher amount of them will potentially be mismatches. You then have an option to filter your results by the Amazon category to which they belong here. Now the default being that all categories are shown, but with a drop-down menu for you to select a single category. Now this here gives the same type of filter but for specific retailers. Again, the default is to show all, but you can choose from the drop-down menu to only show one particular retailer that you're interested in. Now here we have a couple of checkboxes, which if you click on them gives you the option to suppress all results that don't have a buy box on Amazon or are fulfilled by merchant only, FBM. You then have the opportunity to filter your results here according to the maximum amount that you're prepared to pay to a supplier for a product and the minimum amount that you would like any of your products to sell for on Amazon. So you might not want to buy a product that a retailer is selling for more than, say, $5. But equally, you don't want to see any result where an item is selling for less than $8 on Amazon. Now this will give you the option of finding a previously saved set of filter preferences using the drop-down menu. Anytime you set your filters, give them a name, save them, and they'll be available in this drop-down menu whenever you look at your search results. Now, there's no limit to the number of different filter settings that you can save, so your preferences will be available quickly and easily for whatever search results you're looking at. Finally, when you've set all the filters to your specific preferences and given them a name, clicking the Save button will save them to your account, ready for you in the drop-down menu. Whatever filter settings you last saved will become the default settings next time you log in and view your results.